this video, we will explore why the KH-22 is the ultimate game changer in Russia's missile arsenal. Ever since the conflict in Ukraine began, the threat of Russian missile strikes has been a major concern. While the Kinzel missile gets all the attention, it's the KH-22, a strong but less flashy missile that has Ukrainian air defenses quite worried. Join us as we get into the details of this beast, and make sure to stick around because you won't want to miss the twists that unfold during its upgrade to the KH-32, setting it apart from other Russian missiles. Back in the year 2000, Ukraine handed over 386 KH-22 missiles to Russia to settle a debt related to natural gas. Since the full-scale invasion began, Russian forces have launched approximately 300 of these KH-22 missiles towards Ukraine. What's even more concerning is that the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces have not been able to stop or take down any of these incoming missiles. Yuri Ignat, the spokesperson for the Ukrainian Air Force, openly recognized this troubling situation. He emphasized the significant threat that the KH-22 missiles present to Ukraine's defense capabilities. A recent report from Moscow's media task highlighted Ignat's concerns about the technical challenges posed by the KH-22 missile and stressed the urgent need for improved interception methods to effectively counter this threat. The high speed and superior flight pattern of the KH-22 missile make it a challenging target for conventional air defense systems. Ignat suggested that the Patriot air defense systems could be a potential solution, but their effectiveness against the KH-22 in the Ukrainian setting remains uncertain. Despite having access to advanced Western defense systems like SAM-T, Patriot, Iris-T, Nassams, and Coral, Ukrainian authorities argue that these systems fall short of countering the KH-22 threat. You can see the real power of this Russian beast. The KH-22 is incredibly hard to stop due to its unique design and capabilities. This Cold War era missile worries Ukrainian defense more than the fast hypersonic Kinzel because of its distinct challenges and the significant threat it poses to their air defenses. Now brace yourselves as we take a deeper look at the KH-22 and its transformation into the advanced KH-32. The KH-22 missile, which dates back to the early 1960s, marked a significant advancement in Soviet missile technology. It was specifically designed to enter enemy air defenses and target a range of significant assets including large ships, military bases, aircraft carriers, power plants, and bridges. This weapon from the Cold War era used a ballistic trajectory, making it particularly challenging for air defense systems to intercept. Moving forward to 2016, the KH-22 underwent a significant transformation and emerged as the KH-32. While preserving the core design of the KH-22, this updated version brought about essential enhancements. The KH-32 is equipped with a conventional warhead, an enhanced rocket motor, and a multi-frequency radar imaging terminal seeker. These upgrades were designed to address the limitations of the KH-22, such as the vulnerability to radar jamming and reliance on a fixed frequency radar. The KH-32 has been significantly made superior, with different changes like extending its operational range and enabling compatibility with the Tu-22M3 supersonic bomber. With its impressive capabilities, the missile travels at incredibly high speeds, reaching up to Mach 4.6 when flying at elevated attitudes. This advanced weapon uses two primary tactics during its flight, a high-altitude dive and a low-altitude skimming approach. Both of these strategies pose considerable difficulties for Ukrainian air defenses, making it a tough challenge to stop the missile and defend against its attacks. 
The high altitude dive tactic catches targets off guard by approaching from an unexpected angle, while the low flying approach, though less elevated, reduces its vulnerability to most air defense systems. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, the KH-32 follows a complex flight path. It starts by ascending to a cruising altitude, then flies level for a distance before executing a steep dive towards its target. The KH-32 has a flight path that you cannot predict, including both high-altitude dives and low-flying approaches that confuse radar systems. This complexity makes it extremely difficult for air defense systems to track, target, and intercept the missile. These features add to its impressive and powerful capabilities, making it a highly effective weapon that is hard to defend against, setting it apart from other Russian missiles and adding an extra layer of challenge for those trying to counter it. But hold on, because it gets even better. The KH-32 goes a step further with its ability to retarget in mid-air, significantly increasing its threat level by quite a big margin. Take this as an example. The missile is initially set on one target, but receives new intelligence pointing to a more crucial objective, like a newly identified enemy air defense system. Reports suggest that the KH-32 can adjust its path to engage this new target, maximizing its destructive potential. How incredible is that? One of the most alarming features of the KH-32 is its reported capability to communicate with other missiles during flight. You can think of a coordinated pack of wolves hunting. One missile activates its radar to locate the target, drawing the attention of enemy defenses and becoming the primary target itself. Meanwhile, the other missiles stay silent and hidden, biding their time for the perfect moment to strike. If the targeted missile is stopped or destroyed, another missile steps up, sharing the critical information and completing the mission. What a clever strategy, isn't it? This coordinated attack approach is a major challenge for air defense systems. They have to handle multiple threats coming from different directions, showcasing the advanced and sophisticated design of the KH-32 missile and making it clear just how tricky and hard to stop the weapon really is. To this day, Russia has used several types of missiles in its attacks on fortified targets, these include the K-47M2, Kinzel, and K-22 missiles, which are aimed at places like underground storage areas and command centers. The K-47M2 missile is chosen for its accuracy in hitting specific targets, such as decision-making centers. On the other hand, the K-22, with its bigger warhead, is better suited for hitting larger areas like fuel and ammunition depots. Both the KH-32 and the hypersonic Kinzel are designed to avoid, defeat, and bypass enemy air defenses, but they each bring their own unique and complex challenges, making them particularly difficult for defense systems to counter. They both behave more like aircraft than conventional ballistic missiles, and their high speeds and altitudes surpass the capabilities of NATO air defenses in Ukraine, including the Patriot systems. Despite the Kinzel being smaller and lighter, it boasts a longer range due to its hypersonic speeds and ability to move around quickly. The unique flight characteristics of both the KH-32 and Kinzel present significant challenges for standard air defense systems. There's been a lot of talk and doubt about Ukraine's claims of stopping the Kinzel missiles. The Ukrainian Air Force said they shot down all 10 K-47M2 Kinzel missiles fired from MiG-31K planes during a big air attack on January the 2nd of 2024. This attack targeted military spots and important buildings across Ukraine, with a main focus on the country's capital city. After the K-47M2 missile was shot down, its warhead was safely taken care of by the Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit of Ukraine's State Emergency Service, or DSNC. This team, based in Kyiv, successfully dealt with the warhead, stopping any potential damage if the missile had exploded on landing. Despite the Ukrainian Air Force's claims of successfully intercepting the Kinzel missiles and the subsequent neutralization of the missile's warhead, 
doubts remain about the actual interception, the effectiveness of the Ukrainian defense systems, and the accuracy of their claims are subjects of ongoing debate and discussion amongst military experts and analysts. However, the KH-32 presents a significantly tougher challenge for defense systems. It's rumored to withstand hits from air-to-air -air missiles and 20mm rotary cannons, making it nearly impossible to stop for enemy interceptors and air defense systems. Despite Ukraine receiving advanced weaponry from the United States, they have yet to manage to stop any Russian K-22 or KH-32 missiles. Talk about futile efforts. Ukrainian authorities openly acknowledge the significant threat posed by these missiles. They've emphasized the technical difficulties in stopping the KH-32 due to its high speed and complex flight trajectory. This has led to growing concerns among Ukrainian defense forces about the effectiveness of their current air defense systems against these advanced Russian missiles. So, do you think Russia will keep using these missiles in their future attacks? Do you believe Ukraine must enhance its air defense systems to counter the KH-22 and other advanced missiles effectively? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you gained some valuable knowledge from this video, don't forget to hit that like button, press the bell icon, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.